garment, I want to talk about it. So this pattern is McCall's 5843. It is an older pattern. And in fact, I made it in 2018. So I made it a long time ago, well, two years ago. And I really love it. So I purchased this fabric from Hobby Lobby. It does have vertical stripes. And I think the pattern, or I'm sorry, the fabric is some type of rayon, maybe even cotton or a blend of some type. But I like the way it flows. And it's just really easy to work with. And it was easy to work with and sew with at the time. Now, some of the features in this pattern, of course, it has the gathering at the top. There are gathers at the bottom. And then there is a zipper on the side of the dress. And then, of course, it has these straps across the shoulders, which I really like. And the only issue or problem that I had was just something that I did. So when I made this garment back in 2018, at that point in time, I had never sewn that many garment or that many gathers into a garment. So this was the first time that I spent so much time putting gathers into a garment. And that is really one of the reasons why this is my favorite sewing make is because it took so long to put the garment together and I did not give up. Even though I wanted to give up because what happened was I didn't think to check the finished, the length of the finished garment. I sewed everything all up. I put the gathers in and everything. And then when I put the dress on, it was sweeping the floor. It was just way, way too long past my feet. Like I would have fallen if I had have tried to wear it at the length that it was. So I ended up cutting off the bottom of the dress and when I cut it off, I cut off too much and I put it on and the dress was too short. So I was like, oh no, no. So then I decided to just put the cut off portion back onto the bottom of the dress. So I spent time putting everything back together and then I just hemmed it from that point. And it took me so long to get this dress put together. I remember I was up into the wee hours of the night because I was just so determined to get the dress right. But it became my favorite make. I think the dress is very, very pretty. I love the way it looks when it's on. I love the length of the finished garment. And it's just really pretty, I think. I love this pattern and I would highly recommend it, especially if you're into long, flowy dresses. I purchased four yards of uh, fabric in order to make this sewing make. So that is it. I will go ahead and show you what it looks like on so you can see how it moves and shakes when I'm wearing it. dress so that you can see what it looks like the point where I took off the hem and then I put it back on so I cut everything off and then I ended up sewing it right back on and then I hemmed it from that point I don't know why I didn't hem it from the bottom to begin with but I didn't and so that's why it just took me so long to get this dress put together but in the end, I'm happy and I'm glad that I decided to stick it out and just finally get the final dress made up. So before I go, I want to share with you some patterns that I have purchased recently. Some of them I purchased online and some of them I actually purchased at Joann's when they had their sale. So the first one is a vintage pattern. It is quick sew so 1456. It is the sweater pattern, and I love the sweater that the model is wearing in blue. I really like the collar, and it's shown that the collar kind of has a twisted look to it. I really like that. 
so I want to make that and the next one that I purchased is Butterick 6563. I like you see the button up shirt that has the collar but I really like the sleeves because I like how they look a little poofy. I love that. The next one that I purchased is McCall's 7845. I like View D, which is the skirt that the model is wearing. And it says that the skirt is lined and this pattern is rated as being average. I've never put a lining in a skirt before, so I want to give it a try. So I'm interested in making this one. Next, I have Simplicity 8636. I saw a couple of garments sewn up from this pattern, a couple of dresses, and I also saw a couple of tops. And I just thought it was so cute. I didn't purchase this pattern when it first came out, but after seeing people make it up, I got interested and I was like, oh, I love it. So I had to get it. So for this one, I really can see myself making the top in white. I can just picture that top in white with jeans. I think that would be so, so cute. And then the last pattern that I purchased that is new to my collection is Vintage Simplicity 7277. So I really love jumpsuits and I actually love the one that the model is wearing in blue and white. I like the straps, how she has them tied at the top and in the front pockets. And then I noticed at the bottom there is elastic around the leg opening, which I think is really cute too. I don't know if I'll do that, but I do have that option. Or if, any, if you get the pattern, you have the option to do that. So I, I really like this pattern. And those are the five new patterns that I have added to my sewing pattern collection drawer situation. <laughs> All right, so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So something that I learned recently is just as humans can be identified by their fingerprints, dogs can be identified by their nose prints. I did not know that. A dog's nose print is unique to that dog. Wow. So that is something I wanted to share with you. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know. You can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.